what's up Lunar Bikes welcome in the next video today I will show you next restoration of kit bike as you can see on the video the bike was in tragedy condition junk and trashy so the first step was a uh, restoring of uh, those wheels I unassembly tires and checking the wheels I unassembly everything because I need to prepare these things to painting exactly we need to to make a service of this hoop because there is a uh, lot of rust and dirt inside and you have to do this trust me so I unassembly everything with little problems with says it nuts inside we see a little bit of old grease it's not tragedy I use a degreaser and uh, trying to clean everything and when I have clean wheel I use a uh, 600 uh, sandpaper and I, I made a surface uh, and prepare the painting by primer coat In the same time I put uh, a rusty dirty parts inside of vinegar bath it's really good idea for cleaning from rust and uh, dirt or so sometimes uh, you can remove also old pint I put it there in the jar and I made a uh, other parts, other components of this bike because I need to painting everything to, to make this like new so now you can see the parts after buff in vinegar that was really nice because uh, remove lots of rust and uh, after cleaning you can use again this part because our oh, okay Big polishing of plastic things brakes clumps was in really bad condition and after I just change it change it all on other parts using but but in better condition than this 
And here you can see a uh, quick, quick saddle restoration. This step was for maybe for trying to do this, but uh, after I just bought a new one because it was a problem with uh, the saddle saddle bars was crushed. And you can see the total process of covering by new leather I remove crank set and bottom bracket set. Everything is rusty and dirty. I remove also headset, it's a really important thing to replace it. And trying to clean all of these parts. I use also vinegar buff. Looks look look how it's remove the rust. It's really easy. But remember about uh, cover parts after vinegar buff because the rust is coming really really quickly. Use for this WD40 or some oil. I made parts from old pint. Grease and using a primer to painting everything again. Seat post, crank set. Now it's time to frame, I made old pine. I don't remove this pine by a pine remover or something because that was a waste of time for me. And I just made, I just make this surface matte. I cover break pins by tape and painting fork by anti corrosive primer so or a just primer normal primer
I use the greaser to clean up frame from oil and odors and now it's time to painting the frame by primer I remove uh, I make a little bit more glad this primer su surface after painting and now when the parts and the primer is 3D I use a black glossy black spray paint and painting everything handlebar trunk set covers everything and now it's time for wheels I use a uh, also primer and painting everything Here parts from vinegar buff. I clean this also like before. Axle, I clean a total cleaning of axle, axle nodes from old grease. And now it's time for tires. I use a special chemistry for tires to, to make make it like new shiny and cleany now next step because I will to paint this bike on a fluorescent green so I need to make really really light surface under that coat so I decide to paint uh, I decide to paint by glossy white before painting by fluo. And now I painting hope and spokes by glossy black. Do this on two wheels the same. And now painting a uh, fluorescent green looks really good, but be careful because this fluo powder can be everywhere in your garage. Painting also for. And now I cover it spokes by painting tape and it's time to painting rims. I use again glossy white spray paint and after this painting I use uh, like on the frame fluorescent green. And that's the effect of this. Now I remove cover from paper tape and all read ready. Mm -hmm. 
I have great stickers for this bike. Looks awesome. This frame was a little bit boring for me, so I decided to make it a little bit more aggressive. I use a brush and black spray paint to make a uh, dots and others on this fork and also on the frame. I think that was really good decision because it looks great. Now it's time for stickers. I apply stickers on a painting frame. And it's the final step of painting. Uh, I cover everything by I cover everything by clear coat, fork, frame, wheels, everything I clear. When everything is dry, I montage a tires on wheels and the time for hub service. Everything is clear. I apply new Shimano bearings grease, new bearings bowls and other components and it's great. It's turn really smooth really good now the real hub a little bit more complicated but I do this and it's work good also new balls bearings grease It's working correctly. Now time for a montage of bottom bracket. I use also new grease, new bearings, put axle with bearings inside the frame. Now the second second cup I also lubricate it and put it inside. And I montage crank set. Also remember about a Loctite or a thread. Re important also is uh, grease on a bottom bracket axle. Now it's time for pedals. I have new one pedal for kids. I bought this a lot of time ago. Also grease on thread, and I. Apply. Remember about uh, different threads on left and right pedals. Hey, I put the wheel inside the frame. New chain. I decide to put here a new chain because that was really small cost and the big effect of working of the drivetrain. It's working good. Now time for handlebar. I assembly everything together new green fluid grips and cables for front brake. I montage everything with new lines 
montage handlebar with stem, brake clamp, belling, belts. So now you can see a uh, saddle restored by me, but was problem with ankle. So I decided to replace it on a new one. I think looks so so better. Use an anti size use on a seat post. Now I remove also headset on a new one because it's important thing in all bikes and the cost is uh, really really low. Shimano grease, apply new bearings, balls and I tighten it together, assembly together. Now time for assembly brakes. I bought also a uh, also green brake pads from Bairdle line. I assemble it together and apply into the fork. So now, now front wheel and we are going to the finish. I use anti size again on a uh, handlebar stem to anti size and cover it before it water and other ready seat post with a new saddle I tighten it and it's a finish look on the final effect I think it's awesome effect kids want to have a, this type of bike looks great thanks for watching don't forget to forgive a subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye